everything okay, mi amor? Yeah. Everything's gonna be great. You better run for your life. We can go ahead and we can start our review. I can start my review for Barry Season 4, Episode 3, Chad. It's the final season of Barry. And so far, you know, for those who don't know, uh, I am a huge fan of Barry, Chad. I, I wish more people would check out uh, this series, Bill Hader series, about this um, disillusioned ex-Marine and, and hitman just wanting to be an actor. But, you know, because of the, the people he involves himself with and because he seems to attract these very toxic individuals, his, his life and the various other people's uh, lives keep falling apart around him, Chad. And, you know, uh, all these issues across these uh, last, you know, three seasons have kind of finally come to a head with Barry's life seemingly falling apart even more and more and now finds himself in, in prison. And we kind of covered those last two episodes, episode one and two, which I thought were, were, were so good and so strong. And, you know, we, we, you know, we're exploring just kind of with the mindset that Barry has right now, along with a number of other characters, chat, you know, Gene Cousino, played by Henry Winkler, and obviously the character of, of, of Sally and Noho Hank. You know, I like that those first two episodes kind of took a moment to like, hey, let's figure out where all these people are after the fallout of Barry's arrest and incarceration. In this particular episode, chat, uh, which is like, uh, I think, I believe the title is You're So Charming. Uh, you know, Barry has uh, learned about Gene's interviews with that reporter from the previous two uh, episodes, while Noho Hank has finally cut Barry seemingly out of his life. And Sally's first acting class uh, as a teacher uh, reveals her abusive tendencies <laughs> towards uh, other people and, and people that remind her of her self you know listen look, I, I've I've been praising this series for a, a very long time as I said but you know um I am happy to criticize if there is something that I feel like isn't working and I hate to start this review chat but one of the things that has annoyed me like just like a lot of television shows especially just recently maybe I'm more sensitive to it is like after watching The Mandalorian you know which season three which i was personally disappointed by it. There were some episodes that I thought were, you know, better than others. I, I really liked the penultimate episode. I really enjoyed the episode that focused on the pirates and things and, you know, all the battles. I really liked that. That was cool. But a lot of that season just felt, oh, underwritten. They didn't seem to know what to do with some of their characters, the main characters even, relegated to being secondary or tertiary, at least in, in regards to, you know, uh, Din Djarin. Pedro Pascal's character. But one of the things that bothered me about the, this last season was just like these really distracting cameos. And, you know, they had that. I mean, that was uh, fully encompassed by the introduction of, of Lizzo and Jack Black. Now, listen, I like Jack Black in The Mandalorian. I thought, yeah, or excuse me. I like Jack Black as an actor. I didn't think he worked in that in that role in The Mandalorian. But then you just have Lizzo in there. And, like, Lizzo is not an actor. You know, she's uh, – I, I, listen, I, I, I've probably heard some of her music before, and I, I'm sure she's enormously talented. But as an actress, she was terrible. <laughs> she was really bad. It was, it was very distracting watching her on screen. It's like this feels just – like a social media Instagram kind of moment. And with this particular episode, Chad, of Barry, it, it reminded me of, of, of Mandalorian where they have a famous director uh, come in, a genre director come in and, and has a conversation with Noho Hank and Cristobal who are getting back into criminal enterprises and are stealing, um, I think in this case, like it's sand and trying to capitalize on certain things that are, uh, are hard to get in the housing market, right? And they're just trying to find a way to make money. They can't, they can't leave well enough alone and just be happy. They just can't be the, our favorite couple in the show, chat. They still have to indulge in crime. But they talk to this uh, individual who is helping them get to uh, Barry since they, you know, and they previously learned that Barry is giving everyone up to the FBI and this director. And I've cr actually criticized this director before uh, because though I think they're very talented, they're very talented filmmakers. They're an Oscar winner. Uh, they made one of my favorite animated movies of, of last year. One I actually want to do a spoiler review for one day. I've always said like this person cannot act <laughs> at all. And I'm like, ah, uh, 
Yeah, it, it, I don't know. I just I just thought it was a really awkward scene. It, it, it's so much of the, of the sequence where yeah, again the, the actors who play Noho Hank and the act and, and and Crystal Ball like they're great. Of course they have been. They've been great for you know these past four seasons, right? Well into this fourth season, but when they're having a conversation with this director, I'm just like this just this just feels really awkward. And I know there's always like a sense of awkwardness in 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 Barry and you know, the, these conversations is almost, almost kind of cringy in some ways. But this one felt cringy because it just felt like this other guy, this this director now trying to be an actor, just kind of floundered. I it it, it took me out of the of the moment of the show, which you know for a series like really hasn't done that. I mean, they definitely had some, you know, so, they've had like big actors, you know, have like maybe minor roles in this show in the past or, or or character actors, right? You know, we've seen before pop up, but they gave them roles. Here it just felt like a glorified cameo and it's like this is kind of unnecessary. This is kind of beneath the show. And so, you know, for me, it it didn't really work all that all that much. Um yeah, it just it just felt it just felt odd. Now, at the same time, you know, uh I really like how they are they're they're focusing more and more on no Hank, you know, no ho Hanks, you know, issues and everything kind of c- continuing to spiral out of control, you know, not only because of um, you know, the situation with 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 Barry, which I do want to get to in just a bit, but you know, the Chechens are very upset with everything that happened the last season. And I love that. Oh, he's also dealing with that along of trying to maintain his new criminal enterprise with, you know, his his boyfriend with Crystal Ball. And so, I mean, it's crazy that the characters are who are the most sympathetic so far in the show as at this point are these two gangsters. <laughs> it's uh it's it's always been very funny, but he you were we're seeing him struggle to balance at, at all of this. And I think that the actor who plays him is Anthony Kerrigan. And he is just, I mean, he's always been good, but I, they're giving him a lot of dramatic stuff, especially in season three, which he had some standout scenes in that, but I, again, here. And that's, that's one thing I want to point to, Chad. Like, one of my favorite moments in this particular episode is just a scene. It's a conversation, a phone call between Barry and uh, Noho Hank. And it just, I think it's, it, it was very, um, it was very satisfying to just have a character just tell Barry like what he is to his face, or in this case, uh, you know, via a phone call. I, I just love the uh, interaction that they had together in this episode, where Barry was just just lying, trying to cover up everything that that he's doing and uh, trying to make up for things. And Noho Hank is like the one, one of the few people to call him out on his bullshit. And I just really, really liked. Uh, that scene. It was one of my the highlights. Cathartic, that's the word for it. It's, it's, it's this very cathartic uh, scene in the episode. And yeah, it was one of it was one of my favorites because you know Barry doesn't like that he doesn't like being told the truth about what he is. He's he's constantly even this episode he's constantly saying like I'm just I'm just I'm a good guy. I've always been a good guy, you know. And but it's just all these people they're all messing up. <laughs> it's like wow you're so narcissistic. And I love it when you have someone that's like literally telling that you know to him and he just doesn't want to hear it because of his narcissism. Um, we also get a lot of great comedic moments with uh, Gene Cousineau in this episode. Uh, of course, you know, played by Henry uh, Winkler, who realizes his mistake <laughs> uh, by telling that reporter, like, everything that, everything that went down between him and Barry, but, you know, basically lying. And because of that, he's endangering himself, he's endangering his family, and is endangering the case against... Uh, Barry, and we get some of, the, I think, the best comedic moments in the episode with um, with Henry Winkler, and I forget the actor who plays his uh, his his agent. Feels like his agent, his lawyer, his everything, his confidant, if you will. Uh, there's a great sequence when they go to the reporter's house, and they're just like they're just bumbling idiots. It's like what? Let's have them, them attempt to be criminals, and it's it just does not go well. So it's hilarious. I I loved it. I loved it. And of course, you know, Jim Moss continues to be great and horrifying and scary as you know he starts to learn that oh gee might not have been very truthful with him so loved all that I thought that was really well handled it sets up something which I'm sure is going to be very amusing but also very terrifying in the episodes to come especially between Moss and Gene and you know anytime they interact with each other I, I think it's great he just he just brings this uh, the Moss character who is you know the father of um, Detective Moss who was killed by Barry several seasons ago he just brings this kind of like dry he has this dry sense of humor 
Uh, but at the same time, this underlying threatening us, like about because when you know about his is his his past and like the the methods, and so anytime he says, "Hey, let's go talk in my garage," it's like that's not a good thing. Uh, so you know he's 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 a great addition. He was only uh, introduced in season three, chap. But again, that's one that's one of the things I preach about the show so much is even though they have a limited amount of screen time, all the screen time is is used for. Uh, the main plots, the subplots, basically, and just character development, you know, and world building. Like, there's not a single moment of flow. They earn every single scene. And I, I, I just like that, especially after watching some content recently, which just felt like you have a lot of filler, even though you have a limited amount of episodes. So it's always weird to me. Like, Mary didn't feel that way. Like, you know, an exception of the, of the beginning of the episode with the director who guest stars. Also, we, we see more with um, Sally, where... Last episode, you know, because she's out of options, she pretty much does the Gene Cousineau thing where instead of, like, trying to pursue a, a, a career in acting, she's burned, like, every single bridge that she's had because of her um, behavior and anger issues and her own narcissism that she's like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and, and teach. And, we, we, you know, we learn that it's like, ah, this is probably, you're probably not well suited for this. But what I also love about, like, the, her scenes in this particular episode She's using similar methods that Gene Cousineau, that Henry Winger's character, used with her in previous seasons to get a, a, like a good quote unquote performance out of her. And she's conf- she realizes like, oh, all the stuff that Gene was like telling the used against me was incredibly abusive, manipulative, and 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 hurtful. <laughs> Like, it's, it's when she's confronted by, like, normal people, like, what's wrong with you? And it's like, oh, she finally kind of realizes that. But at the same time, she's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's uh, hey, it worked for me. It should work for you, you ingrates. And so I, I I didn't enjoy that. And then, you know, how this, how this, the, I think this is a, so far this season, how this episode wraps up, the ending is definitely the best ending so far this season because it is very funny. But for those who were wondering, like, hey, you know, Barry's had some, like, really good action. It has, Chad. Like, you know, they've, I mean, God, especially in, like, season two, I remember, they have these excellent, like, you know, gunfights of Bill Hader just going ham, going crazy. And, you know, they do something like that uh, here. And, like, how that all wraps up and how it plays out. And they actually have a guest star. They do have another guest star in this particular ending scene, but it actually works (laughs) because of how funny and horrifying it actually is. Uh, yeah, it was, it was an excellent way to end. It's like, okay, what, and, and, and again, I love how they just are able to tantalize you, like, next, okay, it's like, what's gonna happen next? How is this good? how is this gonna affect everything? You know, because I'm sure it's gonna have huge ramifications, but, you know, it's weird, it, like, the beginning of this episode, I was like, ah, oh, this isn't working for me, but thankfully, after that, you know, beginning five minutes, you know, maybe less than five minutes, Everything after I, I, it felt very true. It was, it was very strong. The, the writing was on, on, on point. You know, just kind of stop some of these, you know, glorified celebrity cameos because they're not, they don't always work, especially if that person can't act. <laughs> All right, just let's stop hiring non-actors for acting roles. Let's just kind of stop doing that because it's usually not working, and it kind of takes me out of the, out of the moment, out of the scene, out of the series. But overall, it's you know, it's it's still a very strong episode, and it ends on a really strong note. And I, I encourage people to check out this show. Like all the characters are so well written. You might hate these characters, but that's the point. You know, they're they're all you know, many of them are narcissistic and are not confronting uh, their issues in a, in a healthy way. But because of that, because of their behavior, uh, they c- create more problems for themselves. And it's both, you know, entertaining and, and terrifying. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great show, Chad. I highly recommend checking out Barry. It's an easy watch. All, all the original three seasons are on HBO. Each season's about eight episodes and a half hour. And they don't waste a single minute yet. I think it's, you know, Bill Hader's, you know, best piece of content. I was like, I want to see more from this guy. I want to see him in more dramatic roles, too. You know, blending in comedy. But I just want to see him directing because he apparently I forget if he's directing all these episodes. He is. So that's what that's the other thing. Cool. That's the other cool thing about this show. He's directed a lot of the episodes of this series. And I believe for season eight so far, he yep, he is directing every single episode. And he's done a very good job done a very good job so again chat watch barry you will not regret it if you like stuff like breaking bad or better call Saul, or um i mean even stuff like uh, succession 
or like Ozark or something, uh, you'll, you're going to really, really like this. I think you'll love it. But, but yeah, Chuck. That's my review for Barry Season 4, Episode 3. You're charming. I'm very excited to see the rest of the season. The series, this is, this is the series finale chat this last season. So I'm very curious how this is all going to play out. What about you guys? How do you feel about Barry Season 4, Episode 3? And just the season overall, just the series overall. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I wanted to take the time to tell you about the movie of the week, a film that I really enjoy and one that I think you will too. This week's movie is the John Wick Trilogy. Just in time for the release of John Wick Chapter 4, the trilogy stars Keanu Reeves and follows a legendary hitman who is forced out of retirement to seek revenge against the men who killed his dog, a final gift from his recently deceased wife. If anyone is interested in purchasing this fantastic film series, please make use of the Amazon affiliate link below in the video description. Your purchase of the film not only earns me a helpful commission, but any purchase you may make after clicking the link itself for 24 hours would help earn me additional commissions as well. Doesn't matter if it's a Blu-ray, a video game, a pair of socks, or a washing machine. Everything within 24 hours of that click can really help the channel. So go ahead and check out the film, enjoy browsing, and enjoy shopping.